going on YouTube? Mr. Football here, back with a vlog. It's actually President's Day, don't have any school today. So we're actually just doing whatever we want. And uh, <laughs> and so like, uh, I was doing a little shopping today and um, just out doing a vlog, I guess. Um, and we're going to, um, right now we're gonna go to Play It Again Sports. We're gonna check out See if they have anything football wise. We'll kind of just see what football stuff is out there today um, and just show you guys some different things. Uh, plan on going to Academy, maybe a TJ Maxx. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and there's one more sporting goods store we'll go to as well. But we'll just kind of see uh, what kind of football things we'll find. <laughs> So, this place just keeps becoming more and more of a disappointment. I know you can't see me. It just, uh, let's see. It's just not a, uh, it just doesn't seem to be a good place. Like, they're not really focused on football anymore. Um, and like, and I don't know if this is like with other play it again sports, but like, I went in to like take in, I mean, there's, there's a good lighting. Um, I went in to take in like a bunch of my old football pants and all my old like youth shoulder pads from when I was coaching a youth team. And they were like, yeah, we're not going to take that stuff. And they literally gave me like a dollar for each pair of those like integrated pants. I'm talking about like the Nike ones too. Like I was just like those... I was just like, and they're more focused on baseball, and there are other, like, reasons why they're not, like, taking used and buying, like, new football equipment, like, buying new and new stuff. Like, they're just not doing it anymore. So, it's kind of disappointing because I really enjoyed the store, and, like, over the last four years, it's been awesome, but I feel like they're just transitioning to baseball and really just focusing. And that's great, whatever. Like, that keeps them in business, but... um I could definitely see where football stuff is is kind of hard to to kind of run with. I will say that play it again. Some good things still about it is they have a very large football cleat selection, which is mostly what I showed you inside. Um, so I guess that is sort of a redeeming quality that they have had. And depending on how new the shoes look, you know, you can get them anywhere between forty to like ten to forty dollars. Um, Especially the, like for some new looking stuff like I was showing you guys. So, guess we'll see where we're going next. stop we're going to Ross and never know what we could find there uh, we could find football stuff we have found uh, a visor we did find a visor last summer there at Ross so don't know what this one's gonna have but we'll see if they got any football stuff and I'll be sure to show you stuff inside <laughs> Didn't really find much there. I can always expect to see those cones, those Nike 
spark cones. I always see those. Um, I mean, gosh, I've got I've gotten so many sets of those just throughout my coaching time. Uh, and then you always expect to find some football gloves there, some orange uh, swarm gloves. That was kind of neat to see. Uh, but pretty much, I think that's really about it. Uh, it wasn't really much that I saw today. Today was more of a kind of a see what's out there kind of a day. Uh, I did pick up some uh, shirts that I had made, uh, some Under Armour hot jackets that I had made with our school logo on it. So, you know, that was kind of cool uh, to get those. But that was really about it. So if I do anything at the house, I'll uh, let you guys know and we'll kind of talk about some other things. I did upload a video today uh, on these custom sports sleeves, leg sleeves. So that's also pretty exciting to do as well. Uh, and then we'll have, I guess I'll get, I'll have to edit this video. So we'll make sure that I edit it this time and make sure that I get it out to you guys.